Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Martin. I'm an artist and designer living in Florida. Today, I wanted to make a video to review all of the art that I've made in January 2022 so far. So I've got my sketchbook and a few other paintings and projects I've been working on. Um, but I really want to review over them and document it on my YouTube channel really for the sake of growth and getting better. You know, that's one thing about art that I love is you could always improve your skills. Right now, I'm very focused on taking art more seriously in my life again. And it'll be great, you know, months down the road, years later, to look back and see the progression of um, where I started from where I wanna go, hopefully. I'm gonna be critiquing the art too. I'm gonna be critiquing slash rating it, maybe roasting a few, cause they're not all that best work. So yeah, if you want to go along and see some of the art that I made in the new year and critique it and rate it and maybe get inspired for yourself, then please keep on watching and let's get going. The first piece in here is just this graphic illustration that says, I don't care with um, a light bulb. Super challenging thing to draw that's like just a circle that then shows all of the steps of the actual sphere. So I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that. Um, but the graphic marker work, the way that it's like bleeding into the text and it's just very vibrant in your face with the yellow, I dig. I guess we'll rate on a scale of one to 10 also. 10 being the best, zero being absolute poo-poo. I'll give it a seven. Next up, uh, very limited color palette for the markers. Um, it's unfinished, it's just not completely thought through, and the perspective was a little wonky on this at this point. So I'm going to rate this a 3. I, I realized I was not pushing perspective as far and as much as I needed to to really get like the elaborate dynamic drawings that I wanted. So I went back to do some more research on 1.2 point, 2 point, 3 point perspective and just spent a bunch of time doing different perspective drawings from different various angles. This one was three point perspective from a worm's point of view. I drew this like three times before this got to like this like finalized one, some like really rough sketches. Um, I think this one turned out really nice because I spent time on it and actually making sure that all of my values are correct. I used a ruler for the majority of the lines. I am really in love with this. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I guess I would give it a nine to 10 if there was more work on the background stuff. This one has mountains in the background. It's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'll give it a five. Not bad, not good. Just unfinished. Another one, this one is a perspective drawing, but it's more of a landscape. Um, just in pencil, I, it was cool. I did a little bit of work trying to create a reflection in the water values. Um, I'll give this one a 5.5. Next drawing was from a perspective drawing exercise where essentially I was trying to draw a bunch of different squares and cubes in different points and places in the perspective grid and then be able to connect those with tubes um, and making sure that they matched all the angles. I'll give this one a 4. Unfinished. This is another similar one. Um, this one turned out much better. I'll give this one right her 6.5. I learned a lot from doing this exercise. Next up, concept wise, I dig it. Some of the drawings are really cool. It is unfinished though, so I don't know. I'll give this a seven. I'll give it a seven. And some of the perspective stuff is really janky in this too. I don't know if anyone else can ask me. There's some jankiness. Um, yeah, perspective drawing, bird's eye point of view. I'll give this one an eight. I don't have much to say about it. This was one of the first ones that I did. I spent a lot of time on it, more than even some of the other ones, and it turned out freaking great. I'll give it an eight. I think the only thing that would push this to being like super awesome and dope is if the entire composition just like had buildings throughout the entire thing. So it was nice. I think that the scale of this worked out very nice. I see like I just drew things a little bit bigger, it looks like. So yeah, I mean, I'll give this one the same. Next up are these figure drawing studies, or studies to help learn in drawing the human body better. Um, I guess I'd rate this an eight, just because I learned a lot. Same on this page. I was just drawing a crap load of eyeballs. I was just drawing eyes and fingers, just getting some practice. Uh, since they're not finished drawings, I'm not gonna give them a super high rating. I don't even know if there's really a point in rating them, but let's give it a seven. 
Seven for practicing and learning. There's a lot of random character generators you can find online, and I thought that'd be the perfect way to practice figure drawing and character illustration and get inspired. So in this first one that I did, um, this guy was a pro fencer. He was addicted to chocolate. He was a chocoholic, liked the color orange, and he liked disco music. So I took those key points of the character brief and really tried to emphasize them in the drawing to give the character some more life than it just being a person just standing there or whatever. I'll give the chocoholic homeboy drawing a seven. Here's another one. This guy actually had a name. His name was Donatian Dorsey. And he is an explosives and basketball expert. This one was a lot of fun also. I think that this resembles a little bit more of my style that I'm trying to develop. I'll give this one an eight and a half, actually. I'm really digging this drawing. Man, this drawing of these strawberries took hellas, especially compared to the other graphic illustration that was just one large strawberry. After the fact, I definitely learned that I would rather draw one huge detailed strawberry than 20 smaller, less detailed strawberries. But yeah, this drawing was this drawing was to showcase the design principle of repetition, um, which is always really cool, I think, to see how just taking one simple illustration and repeating that across the page can help to give a cohesive feel to the artwork. I'll give this one a I'll give this one a seven. I think there could have been a little bit more room to push the details. Big strawberry. I'll also give this one a seven. That ant bothers the crap out of me, but I wanted to throw it in because I thought it was the best way to show scale. If the ant had a little bit more detail to it, it wouldn't have been that bad. I did one graphic illustration painting that was on a larger like 24 by 17 canvas. And then I also did a tiny little square typography painting that was just a like three by three canvas. I don't have the square painting anymore. I'll pop some pictures or videos up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but if I was gonna rate that one, I guess that I would rate that a seven. And then I wanna talk about the other painting that I did, um, which was a little bit of a longer process. It originated in the sketchbook, the sketch, whoops. With this sketch into this sketch into this one, which was the final painting. Through each rendering, I found different things in the composition that I wanted to try. Um, and by the third one, that's where I landed on for the entire design for the character. Let me go grab it. I don't know how else I'm gonna do this, but um, I just figured I would go ahead and grab the painting off the wall and do a little talking head. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I drew it a shit, I drew it a lot. I then painted it on a canvas. I painted it on a canvas. I don't know, I'm really happy with this actually, especially the more time that it's been able to sit with me. I guess the only thing left then is to rate it. I'll give this one a 9.5. This, pa this painting did a little bit more for me than just being something I created to give away. It helped with inspiration. For that, you shall get a 9.5. One more special project now before I get back to sketchbook projects is this Japanese, or this moleskin notebook. This little Japanese moleskin sketchbook was so important to me that I finished, so I'm glad that I was able to carve some time out for that. Um, this was a gift, actually. Ooh. Oh, crap. That was long. Um, this was a gift from another artist friend of mine. She bought this for me a few years ago and I started to draw in it while I was doing some traveling. Things got crazy with life, COVID, all that, and I was not able to finish it. I had about 10 pages left that I wanted to draw, just like different memories and stuff from the trip. So it's just really freaking dope because all the pages are connected. It's like a long ass scroll. I'm gonna be moving again soon. Yeah, me. Hopefully I'll have more art space so I can actually make a studio, but I wanna hang this up somewhere. Back to the sketchbook. Let's review over this art and critique it. Yeah, it was a three hour portrait study. It turned out pretty good, actually. I was happy with how it turned out. It is unfinished, could have put a little bit more detail into the background and elements like the jacket and the pattern, but 
overall, it's nice. I'll give this one an eight. Oh, this next one is another portrait study. It's a self-portrait. It's a little cringe. I think mostly because of the teeth area. Like, what is going on there? Those are the top teeth in the picture, but the way that the shading and shadows looks, to me, it looks like they're coming out the bottom. It's like, who smells like that? Um, but this was also just a one hour portrait study, so a lot less time than the previous one. I'll give this one a seven. This next drawing was a study of the skeletal system, and overall, it's pretty good. There are a few things off in there though, just like the representation of the rib cage on the full skeleton is a little bit too long. It then skewed everything else because I was kind of basing it off one measurement. So there's some inconsistencies there. Um, let's give it a five. More portraits. These were like 30 minute studies. These ones were really quick, um, but I was trying to draw them in cubes to help with perspective training. So. I'll give this one a seven. I like the side view face. Looks interesting. Another graphic drawing. I like this. I might do more with this. I'm gonna give it a seven because there's potential. Oh my gosh, how much more to go? It seems like there's only like five more to go. We're almost there. If anyone has stuck around to this point and we're still chugging along, wow, you're a real one. Another thing in January that I was focused on doing was just studying more of graphic novel artists and illustrators, uh, specifically the illustrator from Black Dynamite and the Boondocks. I think his name is Leon Thomas. I'm gonna Google it real quick. LaShawn. LaShawn Thomas. I was captivated growing up by this style of illustration. It's amazing how he's able to convey so much depth in the illustrations just through using two values of black. I think I'll rate all of these kind of as a collective drawing project illustration because I did them all around the same time. I can feel and like hear everything like going on in this scene. I could like feel the strength of the punch. I could like hear the yelling and the movement of the giraffe's head. Just simple, amazing. Um, and then homegirl, she's a badass. She's a badass who will slice you up if you ain't careful. Oh, and then, and then Afro Samurai. I mean, childhood Martin would be happy with adult Martin for drawing this. But then I'm like, wow, that's so cool. I'm gonna give him a 10. <laughs> They're my favorite in the sketchbook. So this artist, I think, was really able to simplify it down into shapes and values and still give you know this amazing level of illustration the sean thomas is that dude he did that <laughs> uh okay yeah and then the last thing that i want to go over today is just graffiti i have this drawing which was the first graffiti study i'll give it a solid seven um there's some good work with the perspective lines and the shading to give it some depth and then the last one which i spent a lot more time on and had a lot of fun doing was just doing a graffiti drawing of my own name um, this one has a lot more detail with colors and the blacks and the perspective lines and shading that just takes it to a whole new level which really like helps me to understand why graffiti is such an amazing art form to begin with um, I'm gonna give this a 9.5. That was it for all the artwork that I had to show today. So thank you so much to everyone who has made it through this entire video. I really hope that you enjoyed being able to look through the art that I was able to make over the past month and maybe get a little bit inspired for some things that you want to create for yourself. I am excited for the months to come to make much larger and much more grandiose projects that are leaving the realm of my sketchbook much more painting, much more street art. Those kinds of things are really what I'm hoping to get into. Um, and January has just been a dipping the toes back in the water month for me and getting back into being an artist. So if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. That'd be awesome for the algorithm and to help my channel out. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more videos to come, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be working on producing some consistent art videos. So yeah, until next time, thank you so much and peace out.